Everyone has their ups and downs, but sometimes life throws us challenges that deeply affect our everyday lives, maybe for a short or even long period of time. Physical and emotional pain, loss, stress, or personal conflict is bound to take a toll on our mental health. Regardless of how it happened, what matters now is how we cope. Mental health is more important than ever. Since the start of the pandemic, people have been in isolation for more than two years, causing a reduction in human interaction, resulting in a sense of loneliness and depression. Mental health should take priority over all else, since it impacts every area of our everyday lives. It affects how we think, do, or say. Maintaining a healthy mind can boost our mood, reduce anxiety, help us find inner peace, think more clearly, improve our relationships, and increase our self-esteem. Not only can it affect our emotions, but it can also impact our lifestyle habits like sleep and eating. Achieving a healthy relationship with ourselves is the first step, but being able to maintain and learn how to cope with future struggles is another important skill. There are a variety of ways to improve and maintain our mental health. Some include meditating, surrounding yourself with good and positive people, going on walks, and getting enough sleep and nutrition. For this video, let us explore scientifically how exercise can benefit not only our physical body, but also various aspects of our mental health. Did you know that exercise stimulates the growth of new brain cells? How about the fact that running for 15 minutes a day or walking for an hour reduced the risk of depression by 26%? The benefits that come from physical activity are astounding. It all starts with exercising for 30 minutes a day, 3-5 to five times a week. The choice of exercising can vary depending on your comfort level and interest. For some, going to the gym is their preferred form of exercise, whereas for others, they might choose to garden or go on a long walk. As long as you're moving and engaging in activity that helps you stay physically active, you would quickly be able to see the positive effects of exercising in your life. You're probably wondering what the science behind all this is. Why does exercise supposedly make me feel good? Why do I feel refreshed or relaxed after? The answer is neurotransmitters. These tiny messengers carry chemical signals between neurons and target cells in your nervous system. The messages help regulate body functions such as your heartbeat, sleep, stress, hormone regulation, and muscle movements. When you exercise, your body releases different types of neurotransmitters that help you feel good. One of the most commonly known neurotransmitters released during exercise is endorphins. These chemical messengers are responsible for blocking pain and increasing feelings of pleasure. Another neurotransmitter is endocannabinoids, and it's responsible for the runner's high feeling of happiness after an intense workout. The final neurotransmitter is dopamine. It plays a big role in how you feel pleasure, and is also responsible for regulating the different processes in your body. The combination of these neurotransmitters helps alleviate feelings of stress and reduce the risk of depression. The positive effects of exercising are astounding. Not only does it help you live a healthier lifestyle, but it also aids us in the journey of being mentally healthy as well.